Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Tuki and this is a game where oxygen is not included. Uh, okay, so we fast forwarded a few cycles and I did a bunch of stuff. Uh, let's quickly run over that. I moved the incubators from down here over here. Um, I set up a new hatch area because we will eventually have to move over to stone hatches. These guys eat... Right now they're eating sandstone and we are like very close to being out of sandstone. Uh, let's see. Not cultivated. It's just like a raw mineral, right? Raw mineral. Sandstone. No, we have 50 tons. But I'm going to move over to having like stone hatches who primarily eat igneous rock. So I'm going to set up these guys. Oh, this guy's waiting for an egg. Why are they all waiting for eggs? Cancel. 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 Like, these three is enough to maintain these three. So I'm going to have... We don't have any stone hatchling eggs. I'm just going to have these guys... Slightly higher priority, of course. In fact, I'm just going to do all of them. Um, okay. Yeah, so these are just expansion proof. I'm, I'll probably build another hatchery right here. Um, and eventually I'm going to get rid of this area here and just build more hatcheries all over the freaking place. Okay. Uh, mm, all right. So beyond that, uh, we finished mining out and setting up this area. I finally got a rock crusher over here. Um, where I also have a storage bin where the lime that is created by this can be deposited. Mm, uh, you already saw that. Oh, uh, we finally also managed to dig out a significant portion of the oil. I uh, exposed this pocket and some of that came pushing up. Uh, oh, all oh, this is done as well. And uh, we have a little bit more water. About... That is about 34 tons of it. Minus... 3,400. So, 34 tons. So, almost 30 tons. Worth of, of water. Um, oh, I'm gonna cancel these because we don't have storage space for them. Um, beyond that, I am going to start researching... Uh, we're going to need... What was it? I wanted the salinator at some point, but not yet. Oh yeah, I'm going to research uh, up to here because we're going to need gas reservoirs and uh, radiant gas pipes. I'm also going to restart researching these guys. Uh, for plastic ladders, comfy beds, plastic tiles, window tiles. Sun lamps, mm. aero pots, uh, jet suits. Those are just for for the space. I've never even done the spaceship stuff before, so that's going to be a whole interesting new freaking experience once I get there. Um, but yeah, so for now, let's start researching like gas pipe sensors and stuff. Uh, there's no reason to have this, but eh, this is going to be important as well at some point. And I want these mini gas pumps as well. Mini liquid and mini gas pumps. And anyway, so without further ado, let's let's get some playing going. I've redirected the gas pipes to pump into this area again. I'll figure out what to do with that at some point. Uh, I want to build like another uh, electrolyzer, but we really do need to stabilize our water source first. And for that to happen, I feel we're going to have to focus on opening up this uh, this well over here, water pump, water well. But to do that, we're going to have to deal with a bunch of stuff. We're going to have to get the polluted water out. We're going to have to dig up and around all this to get to it. Which means dealing with a whole bunch of slime lung and the polluted air and oxygen and stuff. Uh, 
However, I did again notice that this area out here is extremely highly like pressurized. To the point where I kind of want to put like I want to put an air pump here. Which can then like uh, feed into these. Because this oxygen out here is just getting more and more pressurized thanks to you know the bub off bubbling. Oh, and I dug up here and leaked some more polluted water down there. Um, but yeah, just due to the excessive amount of uh, pollution, uh, well, clean air that's being produced by the biomes over here. So I feel that that might be useful. Um, so I'm not sure I want to do that right now. Maybe I do. Our power situation looks fine enough. So maybe I should do that. Let's let's get a ventilation pump. Gas pump followed by like a gas filter. We don't want anything else. Oops. We don't want anything else making it in there. Gas filter. Okay, and then just a vent. And then you go from here to here, you go from here to here. And then you connect over there. But to kind of make sure that it's a one way, I'm going to put in a you know, liquid bridge, a gas bridge. That kind of ensures that it's a one way, so gas doesn't come back the other way. And then I'll just power it with... We have, like, electricity right over here. So, you know, just... Boom. Boom. Whatever. <laughs> That's the most expensive power wire to run two of those things that I've ever seen. But whatever. Alright. Oh, and a big thing! I'm going to turn on this little enable proximity setting. Enable proximity setting tells my duplicates to always choose the closest, most urgent errand to perform. When disabled, we'll choose between two high priority er errands based on hidden priority hierarchy instead. Enable proximity helps cut down on travel time in areas with lots of high priority errands. Yes, please. Ah, uh, that is what we need, especially for like when I was struggling with the guys coming down here, digging a single thing, and then leaving because another person got that priority task to come back down. If I knew that was a setting, holy crap, I would have been so happy. Um, but yeah, that should speed up some localized tasks. Oh, and another thing. Um, this is also crushing eggshells to, egg to lime. Uh, fossils to lime, because fossils we have. That's lead. Uh, ooh, there's so many fossils down here. We're going to be crushing that down into lime to be used uh, to make steel. Then this also crushes salt to table salt, which gives a slight little mood boost because you might see, ah, uh, oh, they don't have any more, but some of the little tables will have like tiny little bottles of salt on them, which is the cutest thing ever. Um, anyway, but yes. Mm. Hopefully the new priority system will mean jobs get prioritized a little bit more. It is still on, right? Just making sure. Yes. Why did the gas stop? Hmm. Because you don't have air? Nani? That's fine. L-O-L. -L. Let's just... 
There you go. Well, this is busy getting done. What's your problem? No gas output. Yeah, we're working on it. Okay, so right now we only want oxygen. Oh, where is it? Oxygen. Really? Oxygen. What's this? Yeah, this gas vent is way over pressure, and I'm not surprised. So what happened? Where is... Where is this O2 going now? That is so much oxygen, and it's never leaving this position. Which is fine. Okay, so let's just switch over um, to have you connected, and then instead I'm going to just snip you two. And then I guess I can have, <clears throat> I can go back to having you run your usual course. So what's up? What's going on? Why are your pipe is blocked, you say? Let's just have a look. This is correct. What's going on? What's going on there, Sherlock? Oxygen. Oh, uh, what's going? Uh, what's going on there? Out to in. Out. How is there chlorine in here? Is the research done? Yes. Because this area is overpressured, we're gonna have to make a plan with the freaking. How did chlorine get in here? There is literally some chlorine over there. Oh, and a lot of chlorine over here. Okay, you know what? Fair. Fair. That's fair. I'm going to just get a gas reservoir and just slap it down somewhere over here. And then instead, I'll, you know, just have this. Gas out over here, and then whatever. Okay, let's make that a slightly higher priority, just to get it done. I love because now they. They're delivering stuff to the area and they're building it at the same time. Which just makes me very happy. Oh, and I built some temp shift plates out of ice here. Just to get rid of some of the ice and provide some more water. It's not a lot, but when this melts, that's another 800 kilograms. Yay. Yeah. So at least now this system can keep running. It's not a lot of air. But this feeds off the the natural uh, the air that is available to us, so to speak.
Let's open this up a little bit. So that the air can move. It's pretty toasty over here. Huh. Oop. Hello. Oh, nah. Sure. No more sensors. Important. Yes. More sensors. Okay. Um, so, uh, let me just sit up. So the next thing that we are going to do in this specific little area uh, is we're going to move this guy up over here. The whole purpose of this uh, up here is to provide cooling. But to get that, we have to deliver... Well, a certain amount of uh, refined materials first. We've got tons of lead now. <coughs> and lead we can use to build things in the base. That require refined metals. Oh hey, we have an incubator. And for an incubator, we're going to pick up a stone hatch. Stone hatches, and we're going to say igneous rock. Because we have a ton. Sorry, we have 564 tons of igneous rock. And we're going to set the exact same. That's just a Roman roll. Igneous rock. Good. So, and this drop-off is then going to be seven critters and sage hatches and sage ach, uh, stone hatches and stone hatchlings, if they exist. Oh, look at these little babies. I'm sorry, little babies, but I'm going to have to murder you. I don't think there's space for you anywhere. Sorry, little babies. You're valuable. Yeah, they're poor wild critters. Oh, I can murder them while they're sleeping. Ah, uh, damn it. Just gonna do it and look away. Okay. Good, so the air is being delivered here. This is still being built, huh? That's fine. Someone will eventually get around to it. <coughs> so the idea is we want... Um, radiant liquid pipes. I'm gonna build them out of lead. Uh, do I? Does it matter? We'll see, I guess. Because this means that they... They don't do so well with uh, with heat. I don't know. Otherwise, normal, normal will just do for now. We want to build it out of thermally reactive piping. Uh, one, two, three, four. Good. So, the input pipe is going to come over here, and then the output pipe is going to go over there. However, I think that we want the piping down here to be insulated. Slow heating, yeah. Because we don't want any uh, exchange of temperatures on the outside, but we do want it on, on the inside. Okay, we are going to then place a steam turbine, which I can't even look at because we don't have plastic. Um, but I believe it's a four by three structure, so it's going to be going to be placed over here. And then we're going to place a big old aqua tuner wherever that is. 
just clicking on it to make the exclamation go away. Thermal aqua tuner over here, but I'm gonna build steel. Or I'm gonna make steel and I'm gonna make it out of that. It's a thousand two hundred, so it's not you know, it's nothing to sneeze at. And we're gonna place that here and then have that piping run basically everywhere else. Um the the heat is going to be dumped into this area which will then exchange with the the liquids that i put in here and that in turn is going to turn into steam and the steam is going to be absorbed by the steam turbine which in turn will dump it back out <coughs> and just basically delete the heat i'm removing that because we might we might need I, i'm a little hurry uh, i'm in a little bit of a hurry i'm going to just leave that for now we still need to set up the rest of the stuff, so let's not worry about that right now. I am, however, going to destroy two of those. Mm. You see, proximity is necessary. So, so we can just set up a bottle, not a bottle, empty a pitcher pump. What's this made out of? What did I just pick? Uh, plumbing. Picture pump. Uh, make it out of... What's down here? Granite, yes. Make it out of granite. Uh, plumbing. <coughs> Picture pump. We have tons of granite. Okay, so somebody can come around and do that at some point. The reason I'm just setting this up is so we can manually move some of the liquid up over here and I'm just going to set up a small little just like a, a little spritzy area like that where we will have actually why do I want to put it that far um, and also maybe gonna need a tank somewhere you know what sure we're already kind of making this is no it's too far mm. whatever so this is going to be just like a little area where i'm going to put a liquid pump just have normal pipe running Not sure. We can probably do that a few times. Um, which means a liquid bridge again to make sure this is one way. Okay. You'll see what I'm doing in a bit. Now, oil can take. Oh, I should have made this out of gold amalgam, now that I'm thinking about it. I had no idea. This overheat temperature is 90. What is it down here? Oh, a lot. Okay, it doesn't matter. Um, I just basically want them to out to battle, out to battle, out to bottle some crude oil. I'm going to make this a high priority. So hopefully someone's going to go down there and they're going to grab some oil very soon. Very soon. Oh, there's already somebody, I think. Nope. Very soon. Thank you. Now a little bit more. Okay, whatever. And the reason for this is if you look at the 
the thermal conductivity and the capacity for like freeze point and the boiling point is 119 for polluted water. Polluted water is an amazing uh, coolant. That's the word I'm looking for. So if you look at oil, it's even like 400. It's it's very good. It's very good. So I might be making a little goof by having mm, by having this loop. I'm I'm not sure how this thing is going to hold up being fed that. Uh, we'll see. It's it's fine. We'll be fine. Part of the experimentation process. Okay, so let's just get that done. So, I'm not sure if 200 is enough. Might not be. No, it's not. It's fine, we can get more. At some point. Nope. So, I guess I'll have to make this a 9. Otherwise, nobody... Either this thing was destroyed. Nope. Come on. Anybody. Somebody. Please. You don't have that much other work to do. This is just, you know, forget about this. It's okay. In fact, it's so okay, just forget about it completely. Just level one priority. There's other things you could be doing. Okay, I think that is enough for now. Let's see how this handles it. I'm curious. So let's just see. We can make some steel. I'd like 1,500, so that's 15 orders, which should be enough. We have enough of everything that is necessary. Important reason for this is that plus 200 degrees Celsius overheat temperature. So let's see if this is gonna work. It's probably not gonna work. Whatever, if the thing blows up. This has a priority of one. What are you doing? So, I'm going to just disable these for now. Okay, so it's ready to go. Let's see what happens to that liquid. Are you kidding? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I hate everything. Okay, so... How hot is this? Contents, crude oil at 191. That's not that bad. Okay, that's exactly enough to run another cycle. Just look at this, the air around the pipes are heating up. I wonder. 
if we ran this loop through some water, if it would, you know, make any difference. Come on, guys. I believe in you. Oh, that's 300 degrees, huh? That's a lot of freaking heat, dude. So probably not the best idea to keep reusing the same oil over and over and over. What is your... Okay, hopefully it doesn't vaporize. I mean, it's hilarious, because then it's going to turn into oil? I'm actually not sure. Hmm. But yeah, better of a situation. Uh, let's have a look quickly. What I can do. We just need some temporary storage location for the oil. So you know what? No, uh, we don't. We also want to contain the heat. So let's uh, just make this priority one and give you like priority seven. Dude, stop. Just stop. Disable building. Thank you. How are you here? Why are you here? These guys are all full. Uh, I'm sorry. There's eggs in the floor. How? Don't look. Don't look. The baby has muted or transformed into meat. Oh, okay, cool. So that's done. Uh, let's get a liquid vent right here, and then let's just set up this place. Snippity snip. Slight higher priority, because I want it done right now. also becoming a freaking problem. We want that the chlorine to fall down because chlorine is heavier than gas, right? Properties. Mass, no. Density? Mm. Oh god, every time they just get busy. It's time to go eat. Because we're a bunch of weirdos. Oh, I forgot. Sure. 
nice. This suit is nice. Iron is nicer. Okay, now I guess we just keep on literally waiting forever for something to happen. Thank you. Was that that hard? Okay. So let us enable the building. Set it back to priority five. And let's hope that it doesn't explode in our faces. Yeah, it broke. And now the oil has turned into petroleum. That's hilarious. It's just gonna break again, dude. Stop. So, deconstruct the liquid pipe there. That really is funny. Okay, so... Lesson learned. Let's just set this back to getting more oil. At their own pace, then. See you know whenever you're ready. Why? Why? I'm sorry. What is inside of you right now? It's just the screwed oil that's still left. Okay, I might have to just deconstruct this building for now. Just to get all the oil out. Or crude oil that's immediately going to turn into petrol. For some reason. And then immediately cause everything in the area to overheat. Wonderful. Cool. Um, so let's get the refinery just back in place. Might want to move it, but the pipes are already in place. Okay. So now that there's some space for the freaking chlorine to fall down, we can get back to pumping oxygen to these suits. Nice. Okay. So, um, I think for the foreseeable future or until you guys suggest something else, I'm going to keep doing the same. I'm going to play a little bit, show you what's going on, um, and then I'm going to play some off-camera to basically fast-forward the plans right now is I'm, I want to get 1,500 steel. There is some steel here right now. Um, we need 1,500 of it so we can build various machinery and just, just get this small little version of the block set up. Once I have that in place, um, before I actually build all of that, I'll record that in the next episode. Um, we also want some plastic. Um, but setting up a plastic smelter thing right now... Oops, no, I don't want that. Setting up a, a plastic refinery is going to be a little difficult for now. I also want to, uh, before this water starts w running in here, I want to just wall this up a little bit. Make a plan there. So something like... Like that. Set this to slightly higher priorities. Um, 
just because this is going to keep on filling up and this is a very big this is like an important source of liquid for us because i'm gonna eventually like put in a refinery and stuff to deal with this separate the, the various liquids into tanks and stuff and then desalinate this and purify this to feed it in here um, or we can just have this dealt with but until then we need I need a way to produce power down here I think that might have been best but it's such it's so freaking far dude like if you look at I'm going to save yeah um if you look at normal bases, like the oil biome is like over here. It's never this freaking far from the pod. Mm. I maybe just got unlucky or something. But yeah, um, the plans are also I will try and dig up over here so we can get at this vent. So we can start dealing stuff or doing stuff with that. Move this polluted water down into... I'm just going to call this like my polluted water reservoir for now. Um... Clean water reservoir, polluted water reservoir. We're not even using this for anything. As far as I know, the only thing that we do with this is for the water cooler. Um, our calories are steadily improving, but that's due to... Oh, don't look at him. I'm sorry, little guy. That's basically what happens. The eggs hatch in here and then the hatchlings drown and become meat. I'm sorry, little guy. Don't look at his little feeties. But I want to show you the process. Oh, and there's another one. I'm sorry, guys. They they take about a day or two. And there he becomes meat. And then the dupe comes and he grabs the meat. And the meat becomes delicious barbecue. I'm very sorry, little guys. You didn't ask for this, but... I always feel bad about that. I wish I could have like a thousand hatcheries and just f care for all the little babies. Oh well, guys, I appreciate... <coughs> oh God. I appreciate a like and a comment. I would appreciate it more if you would tap that sub button, but thank you for hanging out with me today. And I will see all of you um, in the next episode after another little bit of a fast forward. Bye-bye for now.